Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at the effects which requires a cleanup. But before that, I want to rectify this code in use effect. This if condition should come after document.title because as you can see in the browser, we can't see false value in document.title because this if condition is at the start. If we remove this and if I paste it here and if I save it, then if I go to the browser, as you can see the false value and the count value is also zero. Now, if I click this count value incremented and this becomes true. So this was an error and we need to remove one more warning. So here, as you can see in counter class, count is assigned a value, but never used. So let's go to counter class. And as you remember, we, we have removed the count from here. So we need to add it count count which will be count plus one. Let me save this. Now, as you can see, the warning has gone, but we can't remove this warning because in our example, if we add count here, it means that this effect will be created again if the count changes. And when the count changes, it triggers a re-render, which means we are going to increment the count again. So it will basically be an infinite loop. So if I save this, the warning will go. But if I go to the browser and if I click this button, so you can see the count is incrementing con continuously. So this is why we can't add count here. And as you can see, we have two use effect hooks. This is the first one and this is the second one. We have one in which we log when the component get mounted. So I am talking about this effect here. We have another effect which has to do with the is on state variable. If this is on state variable changes, we do a couple of things in this effect. As you can see, we are separating concerns, but in our class component, we would need to put document title equals to is on and console log first render in the component did mount function, which would mean that basically we are putting unrelated code into the same function, which is not a good pattern. It is important to note that the effects will run in the order they were created. So first this effect and then this effect will run. It is very important. Sometimes we write the effect which needs to be clean up. For example, if we start a timer, we have to clear the interval or who subscribe to listener. We have to unsubscribe to avoid memory leak. We did the cleanup part in our class component. Usually in the component will unmount function and sometimes in the component did mount as well. With react hook, it is very easy to do the cleanup. We just have to return a function from our effect function and that return function will be executed by react when a new effect gets applied or when the component unmounts. So let's see an example. Let's create another effect. So let me give some space. And here we need to create a new effect. And inside we'll take one arrow function. And it is very simple. We just console log effect start and let's return a function so here let's return a function which is the cleanup function so this function will be executed by react and this cleanup function we are going to say console dot log cleanup let's save this file and let's go to the browser and let's inspect and let's go to the console. So here, as you can see, it prints first render because of this effect. And as you can see, first render was printed first and then effect start. It is because react applies effect in order they were created. So first this effect and then this effect will run. Now, if we click on this button, you can see clean up effect start clean up effect start why did clean up appear twice it appeared twice because first react triggers a re-render because we are setting the is on state variable and then it triggers a re-render again because we are updating the count that's why you can see clean up and effect start twice as you can see react cleans up the effect when a new effect is applied or when the component get unmounted which in our case when i close the Tab. Now let's go back to Visual Studio Code and let's go back to our second effect, this one. 
this gets printed when the component mount as we are passing an empty array here so this is how we can guarantee that this effect will run only once when the component mounted so basically this is equivalent to component did mount and how can we achieve the functionality of component will unmount with react hooks well it is very simple we just have to return a function so here we will return a function which has a dependency of an empty array this will equivalent to component will unmount so if we return a cleanup function in this effect which has an empty array dependency then it means that the cleanup will run when the component gets unmounted so this is how we can achieve component will unmount functionality with our react hook let's save this now let's see a real world example for the cleanup let's say every second i want to print is on state variable value to the console so let's create a new function and inside this we will take an arrow function and the dependency of this effect will be is on state variable so here we need to write an empty array inside the empty array we will pass is on state variable so when this is on state variable changes that's when i wanted to create a new effect so let's create an interval called const timer which is equal to set interval and this interval is quite simple it just prints the state variable is on so we can console log is on is on and it runs every second so we need to pass 1000 milliseconds so here i will pass 1000 milliseconds let's save this now we have to clean up after this since that would cause a memory leak if we forget to clean up after this how we can clean up so we can return a function so here we need to write return and then we need to take an arrow function so we can return a function which will be called by react and in this function we just clear the interval so here we need to write clear interval and then we need to pass the id timer which is written by the set interval function so now let's save this and let's go to the browser and check so here as you can see that the is on gets printed here and if i click on this button you can see that the is on change and now the new value gets printed so we will look at why this dependency is so important if i remove this dependency two things will happen first eslint will show me a warning react hook use effect has a missing dependency is on it complains because even if is on changes there will be no new effect applied so basically the side effect of the old effect are still present because we started the timer even though is on state variable change it won't update the effect so that will mean that old value of is on variable will get printed so let's save this and let's go back to the browser let's refresh this As you can see is on value has been printed and if I click this button it will still show me the old value which is false so this is not really good why did it happen it happened because as I said in the previous video when react comes here it checks this effect has an empty array dependency so let's take the element of this array to the previous array and it says okay it does not have any element so basically nothing has changed so it won't apply this new effect so it won't apply this new effect and because of the closure functionality in javascript the is on will refer to the old value which is false so it will refer to this old value which is false so this is why we are saying that is on is still false even though this is true you can see this is true but here it is showing false so this is very important that we always specify all the dependency here so if i specify is on and save it now let's specify a dependency and save it and now let's go to the browser and now you can see is on value is printed as false and if i click this now the value is true so this is very important so if you don't specify all the dependency here then it might happen that your side effect refers back to the previous value which can lead to inconsistency so this is very very important so this is how we have completed the use effect so this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video